This video prepared by Test Motors is intended as a visual technical support for installing and setting up the smart motor sensor. This sensor can be installed even when the motor is running. The kit that you receive includes a user manual, the smart motor sensor device, batteries, fixing clamps, sandpaper, and by component adhesive. You can order also a router to provide reception for the sensor if necessary. This will include a Wi-Fi router, two antennas, Wi-Fi and 3G, and an electric power cord. The antennas will need to be attached to the router, taking into account the polarity of the connector. and the power cord will need to be connected to the power supply. The name and password for the router network are written on the router case. Once this has been set up, you can check whether you can connect to the Internet by clicking on mobile settings and connecting to the router network. The first step is to set up the sensor. For this, you must download the Test Motors application in your smartphone. This application is available for iOS and Android. Once the application has been downloaded, you need to register as a user. Fill in all the mandatory fields that is name email address phone number password and company name. After creating your new account, the application will take you to the dashboard, where no value will show yet. Click on Motors on the side menu. Add the location of the motor that is going to be monitored. After entering the location, add the name of the plant and then the process. The next step is to open the smart motor sensor and insert the four batteries. At this point, and for no longer than 5 minutes, the sensor creates a Wi-Fi network with the sensor's serial number as its name. Do not connect to the network yet. Before adding a new motor, 
connect your mobile phone to the Wi-Fi network available in the plant or to the Wi-Fi router provided by Test Motors. You can return to the application now and add the motor by clicking on Add Motor. Then click on Set up Wi-Fi and click again on Device to configure. At this point, a message will appear requesting that you exit the application and search on your mobile settings for the Wi-Fi network generated by the sensor. Connect to the network when found. In this process, it is very important that you remain in your mobile settings until you see that the icon has changed from 4G to Wi-Fi. That is, that the mobile device is connected to the sensor's Wi-Fi network. Once connected, return to the Test Motors application where the device config message will appear again, this time including an OK button. Click OK and fill in the following fields. Device name, that is, the reference on the sensor's case. On-site Wi-Fi network and its password. Once these fields are completed, click on Start Configuration at the bottom of the screen. For two minutes approximately, the application will run checks between the Smart Motor Sensor Network and the Plant Network. If the connection between the device and the Wi-Fi network is correct, a confirmation message will be displayed. Click OK in the message and then click on Done. To carry out the motor setup process successfully, add in all the fields as required by the application. In TAC, add the motor's reference name. In Sensor Reference, add the serial number of the sensor, which appears on the sensor's case only the numbers and the letter at the end. Add the motor manufacturer. The efficiency level. Number of poles. Frequency. Rated voltage. Rated power. Connection and Drive Type. Once these fields are completed, the application identifies predetermined types of motors from which to select one. By doing this, the remaining details are automatically completed. All these details are available on the motor's rating plate. You can add manually any of the specifications that do not coincide with those of the motor. To complete this process, take a photograph of the motor and its rating plate, as this will help identify the motor in the application. Finally, click on Create. Once the batteries have been inserted, put the case back on the sensor, making sure that the foam area covers the battery holder. Assemble the fixing clamps to the base of the sensor in a way that they are in line with the sensor metal plate.
that is, that they do not protrude. Next, sand the surface on the area of the cooling fins where the sensor will be placed. Combine the bicomponent adhesive mix in a piece of cardboard with a spatula. And add the mixture to the fins that were previously sanded. Use the fixing clamps to attach the sensor to the motor casing. Tighten the top screw with an Allen key. And the center screw with a star screwdriver. The sensor needs to be placed on the back third section of the motor following the diagram on the case. The sensor is now ready to send data to the cloud server, initiating the learning process for fault detection. While on learning mode, the status color indicators will remain gray. When completed, these color indicators will show the motor status. Green, yellow, or red.